Y'all, the rap girlies are down a hundred. And this time, it all has to do with Nicki Minaj's outburst against Megan Thee Stallion. Cause child, she has been going in on Megan. And it doesn't look like she is about to take a breather anytime soon because Onika has a lot of tea on Megan. After years of silent beef between both women, Megan threw some shade at Nicki by bringing up her husband and her brother's checkered past. And Nicki was not having this calling Megan out and dragging her for filth. She exposed Megan for lying to fans about the Tory Lane situation, trying to get Nikki to get rid of her pregnancy when she was carrying Papa Bear, and straight up trying to hook up her man. And apart from that, she even released a diss song against Megan. And child, some people on the internet are clowning Nikki, saying her track was weak and she should have thought twice before releasing a mid diss. So Megan threw the first shots at Nikki in her latest song, Hiss, and Nikki caught the sub. In fact, she caught the sub so hard that she exploded on Megan, dragging her for filth, and she has been calling her out by name on Insta, Twitter, and all over Beyonce's internet, and she isn't slowing down. Now, a lot of people seem to think that this drama started because of Megan's diss on his, but if you've been following, it actually goes way back before then because we started to figure out that there was something going on between them sometime around 2020. Before then, they were on great terms with each other and Megan even got Nicki on her 2019 song, Hot Girl Summer, which was a major hit. It seemed like they were great friends after that, going live on Instagram together and all that stuff. But they suddenly fell off in 2020, and at first, a lot of people believed that it had to do with Megan's collab with Cardi B. I'm talking about when Megan hopped on the song WAP with Cardi, and y'all know how Nicki and Cardi feel about each other. They can't stand each other, and this extends to everyone that they're surrounded with as well. However, Nikki has denied this, claiming that the real reason they fell out was that she told Megan that she was actively trying for a baby and could even possibly be pregnant, only for Megan to tell her to go to a clinic and get rid of it. Even worse, Nikki claimed that her husband, Kenneth Petty, was there when Megan made the statement and he felt a type of way about it. Imagine telling someone you didn't want to drink, you know, because you were possibly you know, pregnant because you were actively, you know, trying to have a baby. Imagine if that person say, oh, girl, you could go to the clinic. Now, I'm sure you had to go to the clinic at least 15 times that year. My husband overheard those words. According to Nikki, that was the real reason that they fell out. And this video kind of seems to back up what she said because even Megan herself hinted at it during this old live session. Girl, she put me in checks so fast. She was like, hold on, cause my husband, <laughs> he's in the other room. I was like, ooh. Cause I know he was back there, but only as a husband, you said what you said, but that's, that's I, ain't, I ain't even gonna say what I that's said, it. it's a secret. And so, but if it happened, we know what we gotta do. <laughs> no, we not doing that. No, we not. I rebuke. So yeah, allegedly this is the reason they fell out, but like I said, this isn't the first time that they've been acting shady toward each other, but they typically try to be sneakier about it. Like the time Megan threw shots at her in a song, Fish, where she said, I remember girls used to clap for me happily, now I'm bossed up and them same girls mad at me. Megan also threw some shots in her song, Kitty Cat, where she rubbed it in Nikki's face that she's a Grammy winner, saying, is anybody around this beekeeping score? Grammy nominated P, B, I got four. I'm the ish, that's why these girls pissed. I knew I was a problem when them girls started to diss. And Nikki herself has been throwing a lot of shade at Megan in the past couple of years, like in her song, Red Ruby the Sleeves, where she shaded Megan for getting hit in the foot by Tory Lane saying, 700 on them horses when we fixing the leave, but I don't F with horses since Christopher Reeves. Gotta be careful when I dip, it's flips all in the whip. It's 40s with 30 clips, effins with the switch. Now this has a double meaning because it refers to the actor Christopher Reeves and his horse injury that ended his career. But on the other hand, there's also the fact that it's a clever wordplay on how a stallion is a horse and Megan refers to herself as a stallion. And I think y'all see where this is going. And just to make sure that y'all caught the shade, Nikki emphasized the line during her performance at the Rolling Loud Festival last year. 700 horses, will we fix in the leave? But I don't f horses since Christopher Reeves. That wasn't the last time Nikki threw shade at Megan because when she dropped her album Pink Friday 2, she dissed Megan straight up on the song FTCU, where she said, Stay in your Tory Lane B, I am not Iggy. 
This is another reference to Megan and Tori's situation, and the Iggy line was a reference to the claims that some people have been making about Megan allegedly stealing visuals from Iggy Azalea. So yeah, these two have been coming at each other for a hot minute now, and y'all gotta stop acting like one person is innocent because they both been neck deep in this mess and they both been throwing shade at each other. But all that shade was child's play compared to what is going on right now. Because Megan threw the internet for a spin when she dropped her song, Hiss. Cause girl, she came for a lot of celebs. You know, accusing Drake of getting lipo and a BBL, dragging Tori and all that stuff. But the part that really got people was the line where she threw shade at Nikki saying, these girls don't be mad at Megan, these girls mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all, don't want me to start. That line had us all Googling what Megan's law was and chow chow, I'm not gonna lie, Megan ate that one up. And if you are wondering what's Megan's law, I suggest you look it up online. And it was a direct shade at Nikki's husband, Kenneth Petty, who is a registered offender. And her brother is serving a long prison sentence for SAing his 11 year old stepdaughter. So yeah, that line definitely hit close to home. And this is why Nikki went off on Megan calling her out and dragging her for filth. She went live to preview some snippets of a diss track that she had coming for Megan, and she said, Bad B, she like six foot. I call her big foot. The B fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. She didn't stop there because she went off on Megan again, mocking her for not having a man, saying that nobody would ever love Megan and accusing her of deliberately trying to embarrass Nikki's husband by bringing up the past, which she referred to as OT. The bullet fragment, bullet fragment. Now listen here, I don't have somebody that loves you and stand 10 toes down behind you. So you bringing up 30 year old teeth from when this child, when this man was a 15 year old person, child. You bringing up 30 year old teeth because no man has ever and will ever love you. And lying on your dead mother, on oh, your dead mama. Oh. Nikki then hinted that Megan had lied about Tori, claiming that Megan threw Tori under the bus to save herself. You let everyone just be under the bus, be thrown under the bus. You let the baby be thrown under the bus, Tori, your best friend, your mom. At this point, it's clear that Nikki believes that Tori was innocent and that Megan was lying about Tori. Nikki also went back to talking about how Megan told her to get rid of her baby, and she kind of hinted that Megan was going after her man, Kenneth. Be thrown under the bus. You let the baby be thrown under the bus, Tori, your best friend, your mom. You better go conjure up your mother and say and, and apologize. That you you that's disgusting. Somebody said her body got as well. We ain't even gonna run down the list. We'd be here all night. Remember. Child, not her accusing Megan of being a home wrecker. This is a really interesting situation, but Nikki didn't stop there because she then went on a full rant against Megan on Twitter, slamming Megan for bringing Nikki's family into their beef. Nikki tweeted, y'all wanna bring up family members and lying on your dead mother? Told me to drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant, all because I wouldn't let you pour liquor down my throat? B thinks she a bully cause she get a Rock Nation brunch every year. Be mad at party. He told all your tea, but you taking shots at my family? Get up on your good foot. Go apologize to your mother, nasty serpent. She then tried to call Megan a 403 saying, Megan's law for a freebie, you could hit Megan raw. She then clowned Megan's messy situation with her former label, saying went to college and claimed she didn't understand her contract. Dumb B, she and her team told the producer she's been effing and sucking to not clear a beat or song I've had for six years when they were begging me to use it. She doesn't want my song to come out. She then dared Megan to pull up and even brought Megan's deceased mother into it and tweeted, you scary broke H. Scared of me putting a song out but trying to spar with the queen lied on your dead mom. She also said that Megan had given a collaborator and a friend of hers a racist nickname. A racist nickname for a person that you're doing songs with. A racist nickname for a song, for, for, for a person that you're doing songs with. Tell them what you call her. Don't you call her that dirty Mexican? Let me guess, Nikki's lying, right? And fans are convinced she was talking about Cardi B. The situation got even more chaotic when Nikki revealed that she was going to be dropping a diss track against Megan titled Bigfoot. She also claimed that she has five diss tracks lined up saying, after the first one drop, if she so much as breathe wrong, I'ma empty the clip. If she deny one thing I say, I'm posting every receipt known to man. 
five yes you heard me the five extra songs we've been waiting on you well nikki eventually dropped the song and as promised she had a lot to say about megan but honestly it was the same thing she tweeted about she accused megan of using her deceased mom for clout and then sleeping with her mom's boyfriend saying how you f your mother man when she died swearing on your dead mother when you alive she then doubled down on her claims about how megan is lying about tori because she has no scars on her foot and she said F you get shot with no scar. This little piggy toxic someone adopted. She then dropped a list of men who Megan allegedly slept with. And I'm referring to the part where she said, Future made you pay. She won a party with the baby while rubbing on Tory to pay. I guess she needed money bags for them Trey songs. She g easy. Carl made her crawl for it. The most interesting part of the song was when Nikki claimed that she had some spicy tea on Megan that would ruin her reputation if it got exposed. Unless Megan issues a public apology. She said, you know, I got a lot of tea. I went easy on you. I don't think you want the next installment of this song. If you don't apologize to your mama in 24 hours, it's going to get uglier than Kim Barbie, okay? But I'm very serious. The things that you've lied about, even pertaining to your mom, you don't want them out, okay? Now, since you think it's funny to speak about people's families, we'll all join in. Girl, it looks like things just hit the fan and it seems like the situation is only going to get worse because Nikki doesn't sound like she's going to be backing down anytime soon. Now, fans are split because while some are in support of Nikki, others think that she's out of control and that her clapback song was weak. Then there's another group of fans who don't really care and are just here for the chaos. There are comments saying, this Nikki stuff is just uncomfortable. What she's doing isn't even shady. It all just feels mean-spirited and nasty. I thought rap beef was supposed to be entertaining. It's crazy to me how everybody coming at Nikki for defending her family and the father of her only child like they wouldn't go ham if somebody were to talk about their family. Y'all be fighting over D, but Nikki can't defend her family. And I love Nikki and Megan, but I am here for the drama. It looks like this drama isn't going away anytime soon, but in the meantime, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation and then check out this next video.